I am Liao Yu from Singapore, participating in the Cold Space Grand Prix Challenge U19 category. I started doing robotics in March this year. While programming my robot, I used three different strategies. The first one is path planning, which is used to decide the best path to take. I screenshotted the map and drew out several possible paths considering the pit stations, color markers, the number of turns, and distance, as these factors can significantly affect the speed of the robot. After deciding on the best road, I will still make minor changes to the path to achieve greater stability. The second strategy I used is soft coding, where I create functions that will be caught upon to carry out actions when certain conditions are met and also variables that can help to keep track of the position of my robot on the map. This is especially useful for actions that need to be used repeatedly. The examples are line tracking, turning when facing the wall or detecting certain colors, U-terms and stopping at the pit stations. Last but not least, I used hard coding as my roads included some shortcuts that do not provide any sensor inputs for my robot. To achieve the optimum output, I did multiple runs and measurements. Through the process of trial and errors, I was able to obtain some values for me to directly write into the codes and let the robot run a designated road without sensor inputs. In preparation for Cold Space, I tried out all the practice maps. The first two maps looked manageable. However, when it came to the more difficult maps, I encountered problems sometimes, even when I followed the tutorials step by step. I started considering more possible scenarios and tracking the values in debug to adjust conditions or add on more statements, such as color range, and more cases for line track. These changes made me realize what worked in theory will always need to adapt to fit the physical environment, and I must consider many other factors to make sure the car not just runs, but runs consistently. To challenge myself further, I attempted to code in C, which is a programming language I have never learned before and implementing proportional integral derivative control on line tracking parts of the robot. I never truly understood or coded PID before, but Code Space gave me the chance to grasp this concept firmly. Even though I didn't get to use it in the preliminary round due to instability of high speed, the experience of learning it is rewarding beyond what I can imagine. It taught me to be resourceful, search for answers on different engineering websites and ask a mentor. It taught me to have perseverance, debugging again and again to make sure the codes will run smoothly. It taught me patience. The best values can only be obtained after a tedious process of tuning the PID. In addition to technical skills, I also learned the importance of communicating and sharing ideas with my mentor and fellow participants. Through good communication, we improved faster, solved problems more creatively, and rejoiced in progress together. A participant I would like to learn from is SG3020, John Henry. He mentioned in his presentation video that he used different speeds for different parts of the map and also increased turning speed. These are things I did not think of when programming my robot, and I think that these are certainly important factors that can make a remarkable difference in speed and timing. With this enriching experience, I will share my learning with my fellow members 
from the Robotics Club who will be participating in Virtual RoboCup Asia Pacific Grand Prix as well. Thank you for listening. 